appropriateness or why do you have these suits on to, to mark holidays? Oh well actually I'm Senator James Phelan. Oh. I built uh, Phelan built the uh, Villa Montalvo up on the hillside yeah, well, and uh, I'm from San Francisco yeah, that's my summer home and this is my good friend Charles Blaney. Wow Charles Blaney and you get to keep that suit in your closet in perfect shape for how many years? Well you know it's I've been kicking around for a while. I, yeah. You know, built Blaney Plaza in the teens, and we put the memorial arch there uh, after World War One. And uh, I built uh, Rancho Bella Vista, my home. I bought that land from the Farwells and built that in 1917, so I could be close to my friend Senator Phelan yeah. in his uh, summer home at Villa Montavo. Yeah, which I started in 1913. Good afternoon. I miss Jenny Farwell, oh, okay. and I'm so happy you are here. I am so proud of the Blossom Festival. I have been involved with the Blossom Festival since it started in 1900. Wow. And the yes. everlasting Sunshine Williams was the founder of the event. My name is Sidney Williams, Reverend Sidney Williams. They, they call me Everlasting Sunshine. But I lived up here in Ten Oaks, and I could see the valley yes. up there. And that's before all these big oak trees grew up. Mm -hmm. We had orchards, many orchards. It was, the valley was uh, filled with orchards. Agriculture was our product. Okay. And uh, and of course we grew some wine, but uh, agriculture was the main product. Prunes, apricots, cherries, and some other things. My husband and I moved here in 1949. It was all orchards, and we bought an old uh, house that was next to the uh, Federated Church on Park Place. Today it's the Historical Museum. Um, is sponsoring the Blossom Festival. The Blossom Festival has gone on for many years to celebrate our, our blossoms from our orchards. We have one orchard left, uh, but today is a beautiful day to come on out and to enjoy the blossoms as well as a fun day. You say so. it's a beautiful day to, to come out. How many opportunities have the people who live in Saratoga been able to enjoy such a colorful festival? Well, once a year they can come out and enjoy the festival, but they can go into the orchard. It's publicly owned. They can go into the orchard uh, anytime they want and take beautiful photos of uh, last of the orchards in the villa, in the, the uh, Santa Clara Our County. local painters have brought out photos and paintings of the orchard. You can uh, talk to people who own old um, historic cars who've restored them. We have uh, funny machines that I don't even know what some of these machines do, but they used to be very functional, or they are functional. We have food trucks for people who want to come out and eat. We have uh, the uh, we have the painters and we have prune tasting, we have poetry reading, we have videos of old time Saratoga, we have a little bit of everything. 